Hi everybody, it's Jola Frit for a brand new tutorial and the tutorial of today will cover the setup the and the rig and so the animation of a mechanical chain that you could find in Legos for example or in more common examples in bicycles, cars, uh, motorcycles, etc, etc. So, here is my very uh, I cannot be more basic than that. So here I've got two gears, so one centered on zero, 0, and the other one set at 48. Why 48? Because in the legal world this is just a awesome value, okay? So 48 fully goes now for your specific application. This could be more or less as you wish, okay? Uh, important stuff here. I've got 24 teeth on each gear. Okay. So before um, one important, very very important stuff. Actually, I'm in top view. Okay. It's very important for the for the drawing of the path, the path of the chain that will be based on the spline. It must be done in the top view. Next you'll be able to rotate this path so that it will perfectly fit uh, your your model or your, or your situation but for the first draw of your your spline you must be in top view okay because if you don't you'll have some funky artifacts during the the animation and you won't be able to correct them if you've got the solution please tell me because I've not found it. So once you've got your two gears to connect with a beautiful chain you need here a bit of mathematics and for that I'll use Excel. Okay. So for information I know because I've played with it I need 12 chain parts for uh, making a perfect turn of this gear. So let's just say 12 chain parts. Okay. I know that between this axis here and this one, which is what I'll call the main step of my chain, I know I've got 6.3 millimeters step of chain, okay, which will be Two time the step of the of the of the gear. You'll you'll see that. Okay. And what I need right now is the memory of perimeter with a cap here, which is two. If you multiply p, if you multiply the radius of a circle. Okay. So <coughs> our perimeter we know it's equal to 12 times 12, sorry, uh, you multiply 6.3, of course if I've got uh, 12 chain parts, if I break them I'll have something which will be 75.6 millimeters long, okay. So now that I've got that we can easily find our radius. So the radius. So oh, we don't really well see. So let's say radius. It's equal to this value here, and let's divide by two. And p, I think it's like that. Okay. Let's check. Oh. Here we get it, okay. Let's put it in bold. Okay, so here I've got the primitive radius of my circle spline that will surround my uh, my gear. Here I will round to 12 millimeters, okay. So let's come here. Let's start a beautiful circle. Let's align it on my gear here. Press OK and let's say the radius to 12. Hmm, this is here a quick control. It seems great. Look here the position. Okay. 
it's not only in the middle of the teeth it's it's great just for info turn I love turning the adaptative on because this line won't be rendered okay so select this circle and shift click to copy it and align this one so alt a or press this button on this one here it's great now we can hide the gears and the chain part too okay don't close Excel for the moment we will need it uh, in the next parts Canva select the first one here and convert it to editable spline and attach a second circle turn off the attach go in the segments select these ones delete them select these ones delete them okay for the moment there's nothing so here I really deleted them so I pressed delete okay and not the backspace uh, key uh, next uh, in vertice mode go here where it is uh, connect Sh left click maintain and drag to this point same stuff on the right side okay and uh, turn off connect and because I'm a bit special select this point and make first you can let this one here or anyone else okay and for better tweaking in the next steps we're just gonna add two vertices so go in segment mode selection mode select these two long here and click the divide button we've just here created some two brand new verses and here let's turn these ones to smooth okay you'll see, you'll probably understand a bit further let's call this not circle but path okay here it's done for the path let's unhide everything okay now let's go in the utility utilities panel and go in the measure here go back in Excel put it a bit smaller like that so let's call this uh, path length okay okay so here I got this exact value it's in millimeter here let's I'm just gonna paint that a little bit so that I know it's a break in terms of okay here is what well, the first spot now here is a second okay so here I got the path length this is a very 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 important value okay because now we need to actually I cannot tell you how many uh, chain parts I, I will have uh, you can turn up the measure here I don't know how many chain parts I'll have to create for uh, for my chain so let's find that number of chain parts okay let's here just increase a little bit so this it will be this value that I'm just gonna divide by the step of the chain okay so here I've got a not round value and I cannot have less because if I've got less it seems I must get this one closer like that to reduce the length but I cannot because my mechanical base cannot be reduced like that so I have to find uh, so I know I will need to put 28 28 chain parts and I have here to increase quite a lot the, the path length and my vertices here will help me to do to do so okay so oh of course so 28 chain oops chain parts okay let's go so 
we said 6.3 pods. Okay. So here there's a utility which is in the so it's in the extra tool um, toolbar, which is the array tool. It opens this. So I always do it when the perspective is active. Okay. First of all, I create copies. So I said 28. So 28, but I will create one more again. Okay. You'll understand a bit further the reason. Okay. And the step will be 6.3. Let's preview. Mm, great. Let's press OK. So here I've got my my chain. Okay. My chain that is setting on. That is great. Every cylinders are going. Okay. But actually there is real these are all independent. Okay. So now let's hide that. We don't need this. I hidden them. Let's save a little bit. Turn up the grid. And now in my snap toggle option, activate and right click. And here turn off grid and turn on pivot. Okay, this was easy. So here you can see I will select the pivot point of each part of my chain. Now, and this will be the boring part, let's go here in the create panel in the systems and bones. So here for the, so check if I maintain 10 it will be really too big. So press I know 4 millimeter is a great one. Okay. And now we will just very patiently create bones from this one and next. So that here, why have I sell, I've set it the snap option to pivot? Because like that, I know uh, that my bones will perfectly fit my chain. Okay. 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 So don't be too fast don't be too quick in this operation so I'm really not a, a master of bone system and right click and now let's select the uh, the last oops sorry okay once we've got that we can here select this one and delete it why? Because it was just needed to here create these last little bones. Okay. Turn off by pressing S the snap toggle. Okay. Here we are. We are in a really good, uh, really really good position now. So here, my bones are already linked. Okay. So. We will do exactly the same about the the chain parts to th my bone chain. And now one after each other I will link to the corresponding bone, okay? Though so this is a quite boring operation. So I don't know if there's a way to automatize uh, this, but it's part of the game. Okay. Sorry, telephone. So let's it ring. And let's just don't focus on this horrible noise. <laughs> and continue the linking of our chain parts to our bone chain. It should stop. Yeah, great. Hope, hope it's not. Uh, oh, we are close from the end. Okay. Okay. And here. Okay. So now let's just double click. Ah, I've forgotten one. So I've forgotten this one. Two this one. Repeat. Sorry. 
selection mode it's great okay so now just for fun let's try rotate this one everything is okay okay so this was a boring part but not the most difficult okay uh, let's uh, so how many times have I spent already uh, I think I will stop this video so let's unhide for the moment so now what do we have we have a bone chain with chain parts linked to it now we need to move this to to the path here so this will be the easy part and next just link rotation of this to the move of that so I will stop from I will stop here this video and let's uh, let's go back in a in a few moments for the second and I think final part of this uh, of this tutorial. See you soon. Bye bye.